So the next talk is titled Efficient Parallel Multi... Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> A comparison of the parallel uh, profiling tools for programs utilizing the FFT and the talk given by Samar Aseri from KAUST. Okay, please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, so, uh, um, I will uh, talk about a comparison of uh, parallel profiling tools for programs utilizing the FFT. Uh, the co-authors are uh, Brian Liu and uh, Benson Muta, and I am Samar Asiri from King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. So uh, this plot shows uh, initial studies for this work uh, for strong scaling and overhead of profiling with uh, tau for uh, 30 time steps for the Klein-Gordon equation at spatial resolution of 512 cubic and 4096 cubic grid points on Mera uh, and Shaheen and Shaheen 2. Aim here is to see if profiling can help provide an explanation for the differences in scaling behavior of FFTE as compared to uh, the 2DCOM and FFTE library. Uh, the tools IPM, Scalaska, Craypat, MPIP, FP, MPI, and Tau are compared when profiling a fast Fourier transform solver for the nonlinear Klein Gordon equation. Uh, main findings are uh, some of these tools can be challenging to set up, if not already set up for the user. Uh, for the number of cores considered here, uh, these tools can be used in a production setting for low overhead profiling. Uh, vendor provided tools can allow for well integrated hardware performance monitoring uh, that may uh, not be otherwise easily exposed or integrated in the portable open source tools. Um, in a previous work uh, that I have conducted with uh, a number of authors uh, typed down here, um, we compared the performance of fast Fourier transform, uh, FFT based solver for the three-dimensional applying garden equation using 2D comp and FFT. Uh, the study, uh, this study primarily focused on measuring time to solution and strong scaling results. Uh, the study also produced a simple performance model, more, um, more detailed performance mo uh, models can be validated using performance measurements. Uh, in this study, the numerical, uh, this current study, the numerical solution of Klein-Gordon equation is again used uh, as an example, many application for which performance profiling tools can also be compared. In addition, a solver using the FFT library, which is FFTE, is included in the comparison. Earlier measurements shown uh, in the teaser image here. Showed that uh, Tau, uh, a performance profiling tool can be configured to have low overhead, even when profiling at large core counts. Um, one of the aims of this work is to quantify the level of overhead and compare tau to other profiling tools. So a number of uh, the profiling tools uh, used are open source, uh, such as Scalaska, uh, tau, uh, IPM, FP, uh, MPI, and uh, MPIP. And if uh, not installed on a machine, require the user to install to install them. 
Some of these tools share uh, components, uh, in particular, uh, Scaliska and Tau. Uh, many of the open source tools, such as Scaliska and Tau, are also performance mo monitoring uh, research test bits. Uh, says they uh, develop unique, uh, uh, they, uh, therefore they uh, develop rapidly. Uh, the open source tools uh, tend to rely on uh, very similar, similar components, uh, such as uh, Binotils, uh, Danens, uh, Lin, uh, Lib on Wind, and Papi. Um, Craypat uh, is a, a vendor uh, produced profiling tool. Uh, the developers uh, can therefore make a trade-off uh, of configurability by the user uh, uh, for uh, ease of use and can take advantage of special hardware features. As an example, at present, there is no standard interface to measure energy use of input and output utilization. Uh, although there are efforts towards this, uh, such as um, energy aware runtime systems and other, but Craypat can provide this information to the user while uh, the open source tools that can do this, uh, Tau and Xtrae, need to be configured to do so. Um, also, uh, more detailed info information on uh, the profiling tools used in the study can be found in the paper. Uh, this is a summary tab table of parallel program profiling tools, uh, which involves a number of uh, tools and its features. Uh, not just the ones that we have used at the study. Um, uh, libraries used uh, were 2D Comp FFT, which is a parallel three dimensional uh, Fortran uh, FFT library. It uses uh, external uh, one dimensional FFT libraries and focuses on providing transpose routines. Uh, in this study, FFTW was used uh, for the one dimensional FFT. Uh, the present study used version uh, 1.5 of uh, 2D Comp and FFT. Um, uh, so FFTE is a Fortran library and uh, for parallel, uh, parallel one, two and three dimensional FFTs, the MPI parallel uh, version only works correctly when the number of MPI processes divides the grid dimensions. Uh, the present study uh, used uh, version 7.0 of FFTE, uh, which is the latest version. Uh, platforms used uh, sh uh, was Shaheen, uh, which was uh, an IBM Blue Gene P supercomputer at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. It had uh, IBM uh, Power PC, uh, uh, four core, uh, 0 0.8, uh, 85 uh, gigahertz processors, and 3D tours network, and 65,536 uh, compute cores. Uh, this machine was used for the initial uh, studies. Uh, second, uh, uh, we used Mira, uh, which was uh, an IBM Blue Gene Q supercomputer at the Oregon National Laboratory. It had IBM PowerPC uh, A216 core, 1.6 gigahertz processors, uh, 5D tourist network, and five, uh, 7,086,432 compute scores. This machine uh, was used for the initial studies also. Uh, finally, Shaheen 2 is a Cray XC40 supercomputer at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. It has uh, Intel's Young uh, E52698 uh, V316 core, 
2.3 gigahertz processors, uh, a Dragonfly network interconnect, and 197,568 compute cores. So, um, uh, there uh, in this uh, web page, uh, we up uh, we upload uh, uploaded supplementary materials uh, that includes uh, procedures for installing the IPM Tau MPIP FP MPI and Scala scan on Shaheen two, uh, with some profiler outputs and code for reproducing the results. Uh, also in the appendix of the paper, there are typical profiler uh, outputs from Tau, Scalaska, Craypat, MPIP, and FP MPI for uh, both libraries FFTE and 2D Comp and FFT. Um, uh, worth mentioning. Uh, that in all cases, a GCC compiler uh, were used. Uh, the Cray and Intel compilers do uh, show some uh, performance improvement of about uh, 4% uh, in time to solution uh, for uh, the uninstrumented uh, programs on a single uh, node, but as uh, configuring each profiling tool with uh, a range of compilers is uh, going to be time consuming and uh, GCC is uh, highly portable. Um, also only compiler flags were used to optimize the code. So uh, perform performance profiling measurements are uh, presented here in this table. Uh, for 30 uh, time steps uh, of the numerical solution of Klein Gordon equation. Uh, each measure measurement is repeated three times to give uh, confidence and repro reprodu reproducibility. Um, uh, so, here in, in, in table two, uh, uh, we compare Cray, Cray Pat, Light, Scalaska, Tau, MPIP, and FP MPI. Uh, on Shaheen 2 for a uh, 512 uh, cubic discretization, discretization uh, with two decomp and FFT. Uh, also, uh, table two shows uh, that the overhead of profiling uh, is uh, within the noise obtained when reproducing the experiments. Uh, it also shows that FFTE and two decomp uh, to decomp uh, FFT and FFT have uh, comparable levels of performance for an FFT of uh, size 512 uh, cubic, but with increasing uh, core counts, FFTE is typically faster than to decomp and FFT because it uses fewer MPI uh, all to all calls. Uh, than a 2D comp and FFT. Um, so uh, one can consider uh, a derived overhead metric of a tool as the ratio of the computation time uh, without profiling to that with uh, profiling. Uh, as a uh, done uh, here in the figures. Uh, overheads are uh, presented in uh, figures uh, A and B. Uh, for Mira, uh, Shaheen, and Shaheen 2 respectively. Um, uh, measurements on Mira and Shaheen were uh, not repeated multiple times, and since these are no longer operational, it uh, is not possible to repeat uh, the measurements. Uh, the tourist networks on Mira and Shaheen uh, isolate communication interference between uh, running 
uh, programs, but this does not occur on Shaheen 2, which has more uh, variability for time to solution of uh, communication intensive programs. Uh, the figures show that uh, default conf configurations of the used profiling tools have low overhead for the measured core counts for an application which primarily has uh, collective communication calls. Uh, Mira and Shaheen have different types of tourist networks. Uh, with uh, Shaheen having processors about half as fast as Mira. Uh, figure uh, A uh, and uh, uh, the teaser uh, image uh, on the first slide shows that uh, uh, one, uh, um, when one consider uh, grid points per core, Scaling on Shaheen is better uh, than Mira because uh, the processor speed, memory bandwidth, and network bandwidth on Shaheen are in better balance than in, on Mira. Uh, Craypath Lite and FPMPI automatically provide short summary text files with aggregate information at the end of each profiling experiment. MPIP also provides a summary text file. However, this contains node level information, which while useful for understanding performance imbalance can become quite lengthy when using thousands of cores. Uh, Scala Scatow and Craypath Lite also produce comprehensive measurement files that can be post-processed to obtain further information. Um, for Skalaska and Tau, uh, a post-processing step is needed after a job completion to obtain a summary file with aggregate job information. In a production setting, it may be helpful to do this automatically. Uh, the resulting profiling information can be used to suggest code improvements as well as monitor the health of the parallel computer. Uh, for the current experiments, the summary file provided by FPMPI was the simplest to use as it gives uh, the number of MPI all to all calls which uh, are most useful when understanding the performance of communication in the parallel FFT, which dominates the wall clock time. Tau, Skalaska, and Craypath Lite also provide useful information on MPI all to all to allow one to determine the reasons for the performance differences between the solver using FFTE and the solver using 2D comp and FFT. The summary information from MPIP is less useful for this uh, as it is aggregated by MPI rank rather than by MPI calls. Uh, Graypath Lite, Skalaska, uh, MPIP, FPMPI, and Tau offer a reasonable summarized uh, default lightweight profiling options for parallel programs, which can be obtained by compiling the programs with uh, appropriate wrappers. Uh, reports produced using Graypath Lite have the most comprehensive information though it is also possible to obtain more comprehensive information from Tau at Skalaska by changing the runtime configuration. On the core counts used here uh, in the study, all these programs have low enough overhead to be used in a production setting, allowing for monitoring of program performance. Uh, in parallel programs, a call graph of function information or timing of MPI routines is provided by most of the tools. Uh, and learning uh, to use these is a transferable skill. The, uh, the vendor provided performance tools may be more comprehensive and are automatically configured 
for the user, but since you, uh, users typically use more than one kind of computer, the open source tools are pre preferable for initial training. Uh, for the beginning user, it is helpful to pre-install a lightweight, low overhead or configuration of a productivity tool for uh, production setting use. Uh, further work involves profiling other parallel FFT libraries such as uh, HEFFTE, ACCFFT, MB3DFFT, Fluid FFT, PE3DFFT, PFFT, and FFT MPI, uh, and SWFFT. Additional profiling uh, and uh, tracing tools uh, such as XRAE, PAPEX, Intel Vtune, and the Open Speed Shop uh, can be included in more detailed comparisons. Finally, there are other numerical uh, methods that can be used to solve the Klein Gordon equation. It would be interesting to use these other methods to aid performance prediction and optimal matching uh, of algorithm to hardware architecture. Uh, we would like to acknowledge uh, computational resources used to, to build and test the programs, which were Shaheen and Shaheen 2, operated by the Chaos Supercomputer Laboratory, Hazelhin uh, at HLRS, uh, K Computer that was operated by Ricken, uh, Rocket and Vidur, operated by the University of Tartu, HPC Center. Uh, Mera that was operated by the Oregon uh, Leadership Computing Facility, which is a DOE uh, Office of Science uh, User uh, Facility. Uh, uh, some of these uh, uh, machines are not uh, mentioned in the study, but they were used in the initial study uh, studies of this work. Um, and I think this is the end of my presentation uh, and thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. So uh, we have plenty of time for the Q&A. Is there any question or comment? Okay, so Samara, I have a question. Uh, could you continue to share the screen? Somewhere, yes. Uh, yes. So there, uh, uh, could you show their table two? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's it. So I think that, uh, that here, you don't compare the performance of the each uh, uh, library, but then, um, you compare their overhead measurement, uh, profiling overhead measurement. So the over, you just focus on the overhead of the each tool, right? Uh, yeah. Um, so uh, 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 can you give me some time? So uh, this is this is uh, comparing the time, uh, the execution time. In the oh, table. it's an execution but, uh, time, not an overhead. The, yeah, the overhead is in the figures. Okay, so there. So you mean that, of course, uh, that the, there are two programs, uh, two two decomposed on FFT and FFTE. So you mean the execution time is then um, much differ in the different if you run the different profiling tools. Is it correct? The, uh, can you uh, repeat the question again? Okay, so for example, the case of the 2048 points, that then there are uh, some variation of the execution time between the several different uh, performance tools. For example, it shows that in the MPIP, takes uh, for the FFTE, takes 1.19 second, while the F, uh, FPMPI says that it's an 
just 1.67 seconds. So much difference of the execution. But uh, uh, between, between, between the tools? Yes, between the tools. So uh, my question is that is this difference came from the real uh, execution time difference or just um, these tools, providing tools to say that is a uh, result of the, your program. So I'm curious, uh, which is uh, uh, the source of the, such a difference? Because basically on the same machine, the same application or same benchmark must mm -hmm. give the same uh, result for their performance, right? Um, well, no, when, we, uh, when you instrument, uh, uh, it will give you the same uh, performance if you're doing without instrumentation. But with, when you instrument it with a, a, a profiling tool, it should uh, give uh, some differences between uh, the tools. Yeah, I know, I know. So you mean that then if the uh, difference or uh, uh, the, if the, uh, the, that one tool has a larger number of the execution time, that yeah. directly means that the, that tool has a more overhead. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, there's so also, the... sorry, I'll, I'll just interrupt for a second. Um, yes. The measurement you mentioned, the error should also be taken into account. So there's an error estimate there. Oh, and yes. The network on Shaheen 2 um, also has an effect. Yes, but then uh, what I'm thinking is that the basically the difference in this table between the multiple uh, profiling tools is uh, basically a cause, cause from the uh, overhead, uh, additional overhead by the uh, profiling, right? Uh, so at least in the, the measurement you pointed out, the error there is 0.51. Um, so if you, because only three measurements are made, uh, one, uh, the assumption there is that uh, it's, it's more the network. So there is some from the tool, but the noise yes. from the network and other jobs is more important than, than from the tool. Uh, in, in some case, but if yeah. the measurement error is very small, it is basically caused from the overhead of the tools. Yes, I think. Okay, yeah. so there, are, and uh, I, I once uh, one uh, uh, result or conclusion I expected from the paper is that which uh, measurement tool or a profiling tool is the best, uh, just focusing on the FFT program. So for the uh, the profiling, so what is your conclusion? Which one so, do you uh, recommend? Yeah, you can say, Vincent. I mean, I'd say there it's a matter of taste uh, because also the output you get differs. If you, I mean, some of the tools you can increase the outputs that you get a lot and so then the overhead also increases. Yes, but um, in average, what what is your recommendation for the performance tool in just in your case? Uh, so in my case, for this particular program, I found FPMPI, to give uh, most succinct information, uh, but looking at other programs, um, one might want something that's updated more frequently, just because I you see. get more comprehensive output. So, in my understanding, FFTE, the most uh, serious bottleneck is uh, all to all communication, and. Uh, you mean that then um, that uh, I, I'm, I'm curious of why the overhead of the performance tool is so uh, different in the, the same kind of the or to or communication on the MPI. The hardware and software is the same. Uh, so I guess the noise, most of it comes from, from the interconnect, I believe. Um, and uh, I guess Craypat was the most yes. comprehensive yeah. in terms of output, but they can also optimize much more in the installation. 
So mm -hmm. this is another factor. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for your question. Yes. Is there any other question? I don't see any more question on the chat. So in the case uh, there is no question. So thank you very much uh, for the talk, Samar. <laughs>